Cheers. So that was my impression of all four members of the Beatles. <laughs> Um, I'm bored, I'm really bored, uh, I'm, I, I, I hate uh, everything, I'm really bored, I need to find new things to do so that I don't get bored, um, I'm really good at not being bored, uh, I've gone up one floor in a lift because stairs are boring, I've gone through a car wash in a clean car because car washes are futuristic, um, even by being here tonight I'm risking losing my a surprisingly professional career in risk because uh, even that's getting too boring for me. I mean, there's a reason they call board games. <laughs> I like the things that the, little, the folks on the little things that perk you up in life. Uh, that's why one of my favorite activities is burping. Um, <laughs> you know, it's always good, always good fun. Uh, a good burp reminds you of a good meal. Uh, <laughs> uh, another reason I like burping is it's quite, quite taboo, which means it always has a follow-up phrase. And you can find out a lot about a person if it has, uh, about what they say after they burp. You know, for me, me personally, it's always quite a seductive, pardon me. <laughs> and you know, I, I do this to cheer me up. And I, I don't want you to be sad, mate. I just want you to be happy. And I just want you to be really, I, I don't want you to be sad, I want you to cheer up. So I, I really want you to just try and give you your best seductive, pardon me, and just really go for it. You don't have to burp. Pardon me. That was disgusting. <laughs> uh, I would tell you a bit about myself, but uh, if I did, I'd have to kill you. It's not because I wrap any government secrets or anything, it's because I've already said I'm really bored. Um, so I'm going to tell you a bit more about my family, a little context to my childhood. Uh, my... Uh, parents growing up weren't religious, I know, uh, let down, right? Um, so I would immediately assume that they're idiots, because I'd learn about God in school, you know, and then I'd come home and I'd be like, does God exist? And they'd be like, I don't know. And then I, my head would explode. Um, so, you know, they, could, they might have well said, oh, we live in a, a cat's eye, a kitten's eyeball. A and then I think the... The fart noise was mainly for, so I'd get distracted and think it was a duck or something. And to be in fairness, it worked. Um, yeah, uh, so, you know, in, in all fairness, it's, it's good to be, like, unsure about things. When you're a kid, your parents know everything, and they're basically God. So you, it, it's, it's basically, like, as though you went through a whole effort of finding God themselves and asking them, hey, God, why, does, uh, why did you make humans? And he said, I don't know, I was bored. And then... Uh, so that's why I've converted to Judaism, anyways. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have a sister. Um, she once told me recently that she went through a phase of liking lion bars. Uh, so I can see the boredom gene runs in the family. <laughs> I think it comes from my mother's side. The reason why I think that is because when we were once watching Back to the Future together, she, you know, you know, Back to the Future, uh, the thrilling, uh, exciting, uh, sci-fi, uh, about, sorry about time travel, you know, epic, epic tale. Uh, what more could you want? Apparently a lot more, according to my mother, who recently quoted towards the climactic end of the film. Uh, you know, the thing is, um, we've, we all know, uh, <laughs> we're still also watching it, but we all know the answer. So, yes, that's right. Uh, this film will never be any, in any way satisfying to my mother unless it has a different ending every time. <laughs> you know, maybe next time Doc will develop lung cancer and we'll, we'll, pull, out the last shot. we'll pull out the last shot of the film and it'll be a, a giant a kitten eyeball in the sky uh, in which it contains the universe. Roll credits. <laughs> yeah, so... You know, um, it, my mother has no respect for the cinematic arts. Um, in a way, it's, it's quite inspiring because, you know, it could be a way of looking at life. If you looked at other people's lives as, like, films, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm being quite, like, fruity here. Yeah. If you look at other people's lives <laughs> like films, um, you know, and then why, why bother worrying about their stories and beliefs when you already know how they're going to end? I mean, let's, let's all say it together, right? That the, 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 many, many shall, uh, uh, the many that rest in the dust of the earth shall awake and... We, we all know it, right? <laughs> so, uh, some to eternal life, others to rep uh, rep reproaches, um, and uh, <laughs> others to uh, eternal abhorrence.
Daniel's 12 too. Come on, read up on your Taurus people. <laughs> My father, on the other hand, is much more easily amused. Um, he, uh, we were into the pub, and he came hurrying back from the toilet to tell us that the condom machine, uh, which is not in advertising condoms, but in fact, uh, just instead had a sticker on it that just said, exciting new product. Um, you know, and that, uh, um, I can guarantee that, we, we had no idea what the product was, but I can guarantee it wouldn't have made anyone in this room as more excited as my dad, as that sticker made my dad. Um, <laughs> You know, it's a great uh, day and age to be a bored person. There's so many gadgets and gizmos to keep you distracted from the impending judgment day. Uh, <laughs> that's why my mother got an Amazon Alexa for her birthday this year. Um, but unfortunately, she's got uh, quite a severe case of um, being he quite heavily endowed with um, being Welsh. Um, <laughs> and so uh, she's, she's less prohibited from using any voice recognition modern technology. Uh, she treats us though as like a person. Alexa, stop, love. Um, <laughs> I'm quite worried that she actually thinks it's like a tiny woman singing all the songs in there. Uh, uh, oh, she's, she's audible. She can't hit those low notes. Alexa, stop, please. Like, Alexa is not your friend. Um, I think the Welsh land, uh, Welsh is a great accent. Um, I think it can make uh, a story quite funny sometimes. One example of this is when I went on a stag recently to Portugal and with about uh, 20 Valleys boys in their 30s. And this story isn't anything against them now. They're, they're great boys, shot the earth. Um, and yeah, so we were in Portugal and some may say that the disappearance of a uh, particular young English girl named Madeline, <laughs> which is a ghost that's haunted me more than I would have thought. Um, uh, some may say that it wasn't very funny, and if it ever was funny to us as children, it's definitely not funny to us now <laughs> as adults. However, I implore you to try to survive a taxi journey where the entire way a drunken Welshman genuinely interrogates this poor taxi driver for <laughs> the whereabouts of said Madeline. <laughs> Where is she there? Where's my other? <laughs> Take us to my other. The taxi journey ends, we get out, we walk the streets. Uh, some promoters try to bring us into the bar. Free shots are offered. Where is she? <laughs> um, we sit down, have a few drinks. Uh, we just relax and pedestrians are passing by. Someone here knows, one of you know, someone here knows. And so on. Anyway, this is getting quite boring now, so I'm going to leave. Bye. <laughs>